This is the English Literature Wave YouTube channel. I am Professor Elbe Jaikwad, who is teaching here the poem Mutability by Edmund Spencer. This is the part 1 and the video number 23. Mutability is written by Edmund Spencer, where he has used the nine line stanza. Remember, here I will say that this poem is the Mutability poem and it is written by Edmund Spencer. Here, while writing this poem, he has used the nine line stanza, means this is the nine line stanza, which is very different stanza from other uh, poems. Means this is the personal technique of this Spencer who has used his own Spencerian sonnet and he has used their nine line stanza. The eight iambic pentameter lines are followed by a ninth line of six iambic feet and the rhyme of the poem goes a b a b b c b c c. So remember here we will say that in this poem there is the eight iambic pentameter lines he has used and these lines are followed by the ninth line of the sixth iambic feet and the rhyme of the poem is a b a b b c b c c this is the rhyme of the poem titanis mutability is the main character in this poem the explanation is that the poet is talking about the characteristics of the mutability means he is defi uh, defining here the definition of the mutability he is telling here the total characteristics, the total features and the total character of the mutability and that's why here he says that the mutability is there in the life of man and that mutability has the destiny and this mutability has uh, borne this man. And here again he says that this mutability brings havoc that is called destruction or devastation upon the earth planet. Remember, according to the poet Edmund Spencer, this mutability is very dangerous in the life of man because this mutability brings the havoc or brings the devastation or brings the destruction or killing of the society and that's why this mutability is called a dangerous factor in the life of man according to the uh, poet means this uh, mutability comes upon the earth and it makes the changes in the life of the man and that's why this mutability is called like the demon we will say then this uh, mutability throws out the rules of nature justice and policy and defeats them remember here the particular thing is that the mutability is the particular character, is the particular factor or is the particular identity on the planet earth that throws out the rules of nature. Means this mutability does not think of nature or it is not controlled by nature or nature is nothing before this mutability. Then this mutability changes the rules of the justice also means this mutability changes life, means the uh, life of the man changes with the mutability and policy is also changed with this mutability. Means policy, justice and nature are the dolls in the hands of this mutability and that's why here this mutability always changes life and defeats uh, the man, means man's life or it defeats the nature, justice and policy and thus by throwing this nature, justice and policy, this mutability hopes to extend its power from the earth to the heaven. Remember here, Edmund Penser has said that this mutability is nothing but the part of the uh, God, I will say. It means that this mutability has come from the heaven or it has come from God and this uh, mutability ch makes changes in the life of man and this mutability uh, makes its own impression 
on man and it becomes very strong from the earth to the heaven and it ex it uh, or he or she i will say or it extends its power from the uh, earth to the heaven and total earth and heaven are controlled by this mutability according to the poet this mutability never admits the right or power of jo jov jo who is the sky god and the king of the gods in ancient roman religious and mythology remember this mutability is the particular factor which does not accept the impression of the god jo also it means that on on the earth there are many uh, i will say people or saints or hermits or sages have come but this uh, metabolity have uh, have killed them or destructed them or devastated them means uh, this uh, metabolity has killed all the life on the earth and that's why here it is said that uh, this is the particular metabolity who has not uh, demanded or who has not uh, uh, understood or who has not admitted the power of the jo that is the roman religious god and that's why the mutability is the particular uh, real, uh, particular i will say fa factor uh, which has come from the heaven or uh, which is from the final god uh, we can say like this and uh, authenticity is that the jo's power has been granted on the earth remember according to the poet edmund spencer uh, i will say that he says that the power of jo has been granted on the earth means jo has been granted as the god on the earth and he has made many changes on the earth but this metabolity has not thought of the jo also and this metabolity has ended his life also so it is said that the metabolity is the particular particular thing particular factor or the particular character Uh, which always changes on the earth and in front of this mutability there is no life of the sages hermits or there is no life of the persons or there is no life of the nature uh, then justice or policy means all these things are nothing before this mutability according to the poet so we can say that this mutability is nothing but the incarnation of god or suppose it is the superior power in comparison Uh, with all the uh, main or nature uh, which is there um, available on the planet of the earth spencer's irish home is arlows hill on the arlows hills dame that is the lady presides over the struggle between the nature uh, tit uh, titanes or titanes and god means remember there is the particular arlows hill and this arlows hill is called the irish home of spencer remember the ireland is the particular uh, country or the particular area which is very beautiful area or which is very natural area and edmund spencer has been attracted or impressed or influenced by this area and that's why he says here that his main home is uh arlows hill that is irish arlows hill and this hill is there and on this hill there is the lady uh, that that is called dame and this dame presides over the struggle between the nature titanes and god means remember edmund spencer is talking here that on the particular hill there is the lady that is called the dame Uh, we can say here the particular poem by john keats john keats has written here the poem la belle dame sans merci and in that poem uh, john dun has said that there is the particular uh, la belle dame sans merci who has uh, given the particular love to john keats but actually this uh, woman has been dame very much beautiful lady but after all she has not understood the love of these john kids uh, such type of the lady is there on this hill and that lady has presided over the struggle which is there between the nature uh, 
Titanes and God and this nature and this God they are struggling with each other and the president or the chairman of this uh, struggle is the particular lady or the dame according to Edmund Spencer. In the concluding speech of her means in the concluding speech of this dame or lady uh, means uh, we have seen that she is the chairman and when she ends her lecture there or when she ends her speech there she talks she says all things in life may fluctuate or change which means that all things in life may fluctuate it means that all things are transitory or all things have the end means nothing is permanent on the earth according to this dame because in this uh, uh, dame's speech of that uh, 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 chairmanship she talks that everything on the earth will be uh, transitory will be only for temporary basis or uh, nothing will have the life on the earth means everything will change or everything will die means man will die nature will die everything will die in this way she talks in her speech but their importance uh, will remain permanent or remains permanent remember here i will say that on the earth there are many uh, saints or there are many sages or they have taken their birth on this planet earth and still from the a prehistoric period to this modern period we have seen that these saints have left their influence there are many religious books and scientific books or very spiritual books uh, through which they have given the lessons to the world and in this way this mutability has ended all these saints or sages uh, and they have gone uh, behind the curtain of life but actually their importance or I will say uh, their uh, feelings or their social awareness is still available with us and that's why these sages or these saints or the nature or everything uh, though is there ended but uh, it is there permanent and that's why this metabolity is the final power but this metabolity though has killed all these uh, factors on the earth but uh, it has not or she or he has not ended there i will say clues or their shadows or their uh, books or their great works on the earth today here we have finished the uh, part first and video number uh, 23 of the poem metability we will see again the next part with the next lecture uh, thank you thank you very much